what's going on everybody drake the time lord here and today i'm going to show you a way to unlock the engineer now to do so you have to uh get five turrets out simultaneously so for this run we're gonna go ahead and use loud and we're gonna start with the wrench So as you can see, the wrench deploys a turret. So to get the engineer, uh, what we're going to do is just spam turrets, spam wrenches. Any turret we see in the market, we're going to buy. Any turret, a any wrench we see, we're going to buy. We're not too worried about anything else. Just make sure you stay alive long enough to be able to get the five turrets simultaneously. We're gonna get a little bit of HP regen going. We can get some damage going. Cause I believe the damage also scales for the turrets. Now once you get a certain amount of turrets, you can just uh, sit at your turrets and they'll take care of the enemies for you. But generally, I don't like to sit still. We'll get some max HP going. There's another wrench and a blue wrench. So now we're up to three of the five we need. Now, the only downside to, like, the engineer, the nice thing about him is that he spawns the turrets close to you at the start. Other than that, if you're not using someone else to unlock, if you're using someone to unlock the engineer, you're going to have spread out turrets like I have right now. But if you get lucky enough, you could get enough turrets, probably be, f honestly, probably around wave, so we're at four. You don't want to combine until you get six weapons, uh, until you get guaranteed six weapons. Um, we'll go ahead and grab the metal detector. So if you just go straight uh, wrenches and look ju for just straight wrenches, you can probably get it around 6 or 7 if you get lucky enough. But I go stuff that can help sur me survive longer. So just stay near your turrets and they will help you um, stay alive. Tier 1 turrets just shoot like a regular uh, shot. Tier 2 turrets as you can see it shoots like a flame shot that uh, burns the enemies. We have, we're up to 5 now so once you so wave six so now once you have them deployed then you'll get the achievement and you'll have the engineer unlocked but we're gonna go for more turrets because turrets are fun and i enjoy the turrets
So tier 1 shoots uh, regular, tier 2 shoots flame, tier 3 uh, shoots uh, higher condensed shot of tier 1 I believe. It's been a little bit since I played the engineer, I'm trying to remember the turret run. Get some harvesting because well we start at negative harvesting but harvesting will uh help with more um material gain we'll get some armor why not we'll get a bait why not Alright, so we have six turrets now. And sometimes you can find turrets just in the marketplace. Uh, if you're going this run, if you're going to turret run, go ahead and buy any turret that you see in the marketplace. So for this run, you go turrets, any wrench you see, any turret you see, you go anything that helps engineering. We don't care too much about range damage or attack speed. Just look for those three things I listed off and you'll be fine. a little bit of damage because I do believe that damage scales with the turrets and armor for survivability get another wrench pocket factory pocket factory is amazing because it will killing a tree spawns a turret And if trees spawn close enough to your turrets, your turrets will kill the tree automatically for you. Now the only issue so far that I've came across with the turret run is the ranged guys. But for the most part the turrets can still take care of the ranged guys. You just gotta get them in the right position. Baby gecko is always nice to get. Because you can uh, have a chance of instantly getting the material that drops. Uh, we don't want to grab Ritual because it loses engineering. But Ritual is a nice item to get. We're almost up to full blue uh, turrets. So you don't have to do the run on with loud, you just want to start with a character that can start with a ranch. I went ahead and decided to do it with loud. No particular reason why, I just did it. 
And as you can see, turrets are spawning from the trees I kill. There's another turret. We can get infinite turrets. So, okay, so this item is really good, but you won't get the robot arm until you be a run with the engineer. You can be the danger zero run with the engineer and you will unlock the robot arm. But for your run to unlock engineer, you will not see the robot arm. But I'm gonna go and take the robot arm. I was not expecting to come across a robot arm. Get anything that increases your max HP, HP region, armor, and engineering. Tyler. Tyler's really good. Get Tyler. It's another turret. Alright, we're up to full blue. Get duct tape. And let's get another helmet. Alright, so let's see. Where's Tyler? There's Tyler. So as you can see, he shoots lightning around himself. And it does a lot of damage. So once you have the factory, just find as many trees as you can. Chop down the trees. It'll spawn more turrets. You'll have so many turrets. I like the turret run because like yeah, you can either stay still, which I don't like to do, or you can run around the map and the turrets will er ensure that you don't take that much damage from enemies. So the strange book is good if you can get elemental damage going. We're going to go ahead and grab strange book, but I don't know if we're actually going to get any elemental damage here. We'll see. Oh, well, I say so, and then this guy gives me elemental damage. Now, you do, do want to make sure that if uh, when you do go elemental damage, uh, try not to decrease your engineering at the same time. We got our first purple. Metal's not bad. I'm gonna grab lumberjack and campfire. Some more elemental damage. We won't grab the duck. All right, so let's take a look at this purple. Okay, so yes, it shoots a purple uh, shot. It's a higher condensed shot that does more damage than the tier one. I would hope so, right? <laughs> I mean, it is a tier three. Alright, let's take a look at Tyler. Tyler just be shooting lightning all around himself. Get the trees, get more turrets. Which also has a chance of giving you crates from the trees. I've gotten two this run alone. Crates are nice. Cause they have a chance they have a chance of giving you a pretty good item. Let's see if we get any good item. Hey, we got a really good item here for engineering. Speed capped. We don't care about speed. We'll take it. Uh we'll go luck. Harvesting. 
Get a little bit of damage going. Yeah, why not? Elemental damage. Almost passed that up. Then I s remembered. We got our second tier three. We'll go and pick up little frog next run. Next wave. Enemies don't stand a chance. Turds be putting in some work. I don't see any trees. Unless the turds are just taking out the trees immediately, which also can be happening. I do see some fruits dropping, so... It's possible that the trees are just being destroyed immediately while I'm off screen. Wrench 3. So we're not going to quite get a wrench 4 yet. We're trying to max out on wrench 3s before getting our first wrench 4. Book. We'll go ahead and grab a. Nah. Well, yeah, why not? We'll grab the peaceful bee. Metal detector. Very nice. You'll want to make sure to always have six weapons, six wrenches. That way you can always have six uh, turrets out. At the minimum. Obviously we have Tyler, so we start with more. And we can chop down trees and get even more turrets. And we can do infinite damage with turrets. Turret run is one of my favorites because it's just so simplistic and you can just run around and not worry too much about the enemies. Now higher danger levels you do have to be a little more uh, conservative on how you run around. But like for the most part you can just run toward the enemy and they'll die before they get to you. Or they might hit you once and then die. Our max HP is kept at current value. Are we fine with 51 health? Yeah, we're fine with 51 health. Because it get Oh, there's a laser turret. We're going to lock that in. We're going to get that next turn. Because uh, it gives us more elemental damage, which with that book, gives us more engineering. Engineering will uh, give more damage to the turrets. So obviously the more you go, the more turrets you can get, the more damage you can give to the turrets, and the more y your turrets can just dish out punishment to the enemies. And the less you have to worry about the enemies. The turrets are just doing all the work on this run. It's nice.
plus 3% damage at the end of the wave. Now, I think that affects turrets, but again, I'm not for sure. They just immediately took out that tree. We have so many turrets out, it's really nice. go ahead and leave this video video off here thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a good day bye